Welcome back to JB Reviews. I'm back at Larry H. Miller here in Sandy, Utah. In the last video, I asked the question, how is Ram gonna sell all of this inventory? So, now I understand how they're gonna sell it. They got some crazy discounts, guys. I'm not joking when I say this, huge discounts. I think Ford and GM are in trouble. And I have to admit, they have a lot less inventory than the last time I was here. Last time I was here, they had HD trucks on both sides, but they have a lot less today. They have a few more on the other side, but they've sold the black dually that you guys saw in the last video, for example. That truck's gone, and there's a few other trucks that they've already sold. So yeah, I'm gonna go over some of the inventory that they have here, and I'm gonna show you guys these ridiculous discounts. Are you guys ready? Let's go. We're back over to the main lot. So let's go ahead and see what they have over here. I think for sure that this is gonna affect Ford and GM HDs because right now, even though everyone's pretty much discounting, no one has the kind of discounts that these trucks have. So here's one truck here I wanna show you guys. Let me go ahead and park real quickly. Now you guys have seen this truck in a couple of other videos that I did. This is a 2024 Ram 2500. Now this one has the night edition package on it, right? Let's go ahead and check out the pricing on this truck. Now here's the pricing for this limited. Base price is right here. And this truck has just about every option you can get. So there's only a few things you're probably missing. And on this side, it continues. So this truck has a total price of $105,000. Now for 2023 and 24, with the limited, you can only get the Cummins. Now it shows as an option here, but in reality, this price is really just backing out that Cummins, but you can't get the Hemi for the limited. Now here is how they have the truck price. You ready for this? So this truck was 105 grand. The dealer discounted it just about $10,000. And then Ram or Stellantis has a 10% off MSRP bonus cash. So it's another 10 grand. So this truck is $85,965. You guys see what I mean? This truck has nearly $20,000 off in discounts. The next cheapest truck is a high country. If you were to spec out a high country like this truck is with the night edition, they call it midnight edition package, and at just about every option, even after they discount the truck, it would probably still be more expensive than how they have this Ram price. Now let's go ahead and walk over to this side. I wanna show you guys another truck here. I'm gonna pull the pricing for it. That was a three quarter ton. Now it's time for us to pull some pricing for a one ton. This is another truck I did a video on probably about a week or so ago. This is a 3,500. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pricing real quickly online. The Limited Longhorn has pretty much the same story. This one is spec'd out with every option just like that Limited was. Even it has a dual rear wheel. So base price is right here. Total price is right there. And just take note, you cannot get the gas engine with this limited Longhorn. And the Longhorn Level 1 Equipment Group comes standard. So $107,000, really $108,000. Here is the discount. So dealer discount is $6,489. And then the 10% discount from the manufacturer is $10,792. So at this price point, you're pretty much cheaper than what you can get a Denali Dually at MSRP for. I want to say that those trucks are around like ninety-two to $93,000 and this truck is just under there. Some dealerships are now discounting those trucks so you're still in the ballpark of what you can get a Denali GMC for. Now as far as Ford goes, you're looking for King Ranch, there are dealers discounting those trucks but that truck is still probably more expensive even after a discount because there's no incentives from the manufacturer. Yeah, that's insane guys. That is in Insane. Seventeen thousand dollars. That's almost forty grand in discount on two trucks, guys. If you're buying two trucks, you can get nearly forty thousand dollars off. Now, if you're looking at like a tradesman, whether it be this single cab or crew cab, 
you're probably gonna be about five to eight grand off or something like that. Your Ram Rebels, these trucks are about 15 grand off, depending on how they're optioned up. They're like a high trim. Like this one here, I'm not sure if this is a high trim. Actually, no, it is. I can tell by the headlights. This is a high trim. You could probably get 15 grand off on a truck like this. Laramie's is about the same. You can get about 15 grand, if not a little bit more, off of these trucks too, depending on how they're optioned. If they're decked out, you can get about that much off. So if you're in the market for a Ram truck, you could potentially get upwards of 15 grand plus off on these higher trim levels, right? That's where you're starting at when you're in negotiations. The only problem is if you go back and watch some of my videos, the 2020s, 2019s obviously, but 2020s are probably about what these trucks are discounted. Let's take a look. I found the 2021 because this is probably the best example of price increases. So base price back then was 52,535 for a Laramie. Now remember, this truck came standard with LED headlights, fender flares, and a few other things that you can't even get right now. Now take a note of some of the options on this truck down here. This truck is decked out. It has just about every option you can get. It also has a center console. And then here is the total price is $77,580. And like I said, it has the Cummins, has everything else on it. Just be sure to pause it here. Now up next, I did build a truck right here. Now this truck is $96,605, right? Now I pretty much priced it out exactly the way you just saw it. So from 77,020, 21 to $96,605. That is a huge price increase for inflation. I think that Ram might need to really reconsider their pricing because this is a truck here. It doesn't have a center console, it doesn't have clearance lights, it's missing like maybe a couple other things, but it's priced at $79,744. So, yes, even at a huge discount, there's still more money than even just what three years ago. So now we know inflation is real, right? It is definitely real. I still think that Ram trucks are probably, right now with the way these trucks are discounted, they're like three to five grand still too high. And I'm only basing it off of, there's not many differences on these trucks. Yeah, they added new mirrors, they added some features, but for example, this Laramie, they took away fender flares. So now this truck looks like a bighorn. And if you get a base model Laramie, Halogen headlights and fog lights come standard now, so they took away some of your equipment. So in my opinion, these trucks are still priced a little high. But the good news is, if you're looking at a Ford or GM pickup, you're still gonna be priced below those because there's not incentives on those trucks. And I believe they have special financing on these with some of the cash offers that you're seeing there. You might lose a little bit of rebate, but if you're putting it into business, uh, I definitely would probably consider if they offer that 2.9 or whatever the rate is, you know, especially if you're not putting any money now. I wouldn't put any money now, personally. I would just finance a truck at 36 months, 2.9, and just pray. <laughs> it's gonna be a big payment. But you know what? It's worth it because 2.9 for 36 months, you can have the truck paid off quickly. And I definitely would do that. But at the end of the day, you have to figure out is it worth it for you to buy a new truck? I think that if you need a new truck, this is the perfect time because when the 2025s come out, you're not gonna see these discounts. There's just a lot of inventory, so it's a supply and demand issue, right? Also, the other part of this that you don't see is that if you go to trade in your truck, well, your truck's not worth anything anymore. Your truck, whether it be Ford, GM, Ram, they're all depreciating. So. That's why I got rid of my dually last year. I didn't want to get rid of my dually, but it was the right thing to do because I saw that the market was not how it was just three years ago. Three years ago, if you bought a dually, you were gonna turn around and sell it and probably make 10 grand. But now, duallys are starting to show up to the dealerships and they're starting to sit on a lot. So I figured, you know what? Let me get rid of this truck while I can, while it's still worth something so I don't lose a lot of money on it. And that's what I did. I sold it and I didn't lose that much money on it. I got to enjoy it. And if you think about my YouTube income, I probably offset any loss that I had. And those videos are there forever. So I'm still gonna make money on them. At the end of the day, you have to ask yourself the question. If you know that you need a truck and you see these types of discounts, 
I would say consider buying right now. This is the perfect time to get a deal. See, three years ago, people were paying 15 grand over for these trucks. And I'm talking about these trucks that you see right here. Now, you have an opportunity to get 15 to 20 grand off on these trucks, and it's the perfect time to capitalize on that, assuming that they give you enough for your trade.